In this Forcepoint Tech Talk episode, we will go over the configuration of the Forcepoint DLP Cloud Apps module and configure a Cloud App asset to be managed by the solution. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for another video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. Enjoy! The DLP Cloud Apps module primarily functions as the integration component between the Forcepoint DLP and the Forcepoint CASB solutions. It allows for the DLP policies to be used and applied to cloud apps that are managed by the CASB solution. In this video, we will assume that you own both solutions. The first step in the integration process is to confirm that you are licensed for the DLP cloud apps. To do this, log into the FSM and navigate to Data, Settings, General, Subscriptions. You should see the DLP cloud applications license. If you do not see this, but you have purchased the Forcepoint DLP cloud apps module, then you can need to contact your Forcepoint account manager for assistance. Once you have confirmed the license, then you will need to generate the API access key. To do this, we will need to log into the Forcepoint CASB management portal. Then navigate to the settings, access management, API. Click enable API access if it's not already enabled. Under API access keys, click add API access key. From the pop-up window, Copy the access key ID and the access key secret into a notepad. We will need this later. Then on the next screen, input a key name and under permissions, select the Cloud DLP Read Permissions checkbox, then click Done. Let's take a moment to confirm the networking requirements that are needed for this integration to work. Confirm that the Forcepoint Security Manager can communicate with the Forcepoint CASB portal over ports 443 and 17500 to 17515. These ports will be used for the DLP Cloud Proxy, DLP Cloud API, and Cloud Data Discovery components. To establish the connection between the FSM and the Forcepoint CASB service, you will need to navigate to Settings, General, Services, CASB Service, or DLP Cloud Service tab. Then click the Connect or Activate button on this page. In the pop-up, input the API key ID and access key secret that we generated earlier. Then, in the service URL section, copy the link to your instance of CASB. Once you have done this, then click OK. This might take a minute or two to finish, but once it's done, you should be able to see the list of applications that are configured within your CASB instance. If you do not have any applications configured in your CASB instance, then you can add a new application through the interface here. To add a new Cloud App asset, click the Add button on the CASB service page. In the pop-up window, select the Cloud App that you would like to add. For instance, if you would like to add an instance of Office 365 as an asset, then select Office 365. When you do this, another pop-up window will appear where you will configure the Cloud application within the CASB service. Input the application name, and then select the Configure Connection button. This will take you to a login screen for Office 365 where you can log in to your organization's Office 365 account and grant permissions to the CASB solution to manage your instance. Once you have granted permissions, then you will want to enable the checkbox under API-based CASB, titled Enable Activity Import, which will allow the CASB service to access and import the user's activity logs. If you would like to perform data at rest scanning within Office 365, then you will need to select the Enable Data at Rest Discovery checkbox. Lastly, under Migration Settings, input the folder path for the archive folder within the Office 365 where your files will be moved or copied in response to a DLP incident. Once you have done this, click OK to save the asset. You should now see the new asset in the list of cloud applications. Don't forget to click OK in the bottom right and then deploy those changes. Thanks for watching this episode where we were able to configure the DLP Cloud Apps module and configure a Cloud App asset to be managed. If you have any questions or have ideas for another video, then please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to show your support for this channel. See you next time.